Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome to the full review of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and I'm going to be going through every single setting that I can find on the phone as well as the apps that I have installed. Um, so, And we'll also do features like the S Pen and everything like that. So we're just going to get everything taken care of um, and awesome. So if you can, uh, before we get started, drop a like below, hit subscribe um, at the end if you like what you see. But if you could before, I really appreciate it. Um, and if you've also been watching my videos and you are not subscribed, um, that'd be super helpful if you guys could do that. I'm gonna tear, sorry, I'm going to turn off that glare. It's a little better. Awesome. Okay, sweet. So, let's see here. We're going to first go into the phone right here. And what's the first thing we see? We see widgets. All right, sweet. So, we got widgets. We have a Google. Uh, let's see here. We have Google search. That's an another widget you can do. You can move that around, right? You know, you have freedom like that. Um, something already. Um, watch, you, can, you know, you can move it around, so you can resize it, you can change the size, you can move it, you know what I'm saying, which is pretty sweet. So um, you have that ability already. Um, you can pretty much move apps just anywhere. These are some basic Android features, but if you didn't know, um, you do have the ability to do that. So like, let's say when you hold the store, you have options. You can do remove, um, you can do select, and if you hit select, um, you can do uh, disable. So you can technically disable Google Play services, at least the Play Store if you really want to. And now the app is still technically on the phone, but it doesn't allow any of the functions to run and it won't be accessible in your drawer, which is really nice. So you have that. So that's what you can do with bloatware. A lot of people complain about Samsung bloatware, but what you can do is you can pretty much just do that and it gets rid of it. I mean, you, do, you can also do remove, which just removes from the home screen, and then you can do create folder. Um, so I don't know why you can't necessarily do with that, but, or it's probably because you have to click too. Yeah, okay, there you go. Well, yeah. Um, so yeah, and then if you want to get out of this, you just hit back and then you're right back to your home screen. So you have that, right? You got that weather, that weather widget. And then speaking of widgets, uh, what else do we have? Let's see here. Hold this. Um, so we do have some customization already. Um, and so the first thing we have is wallpaper and style. So let's go into there. Uh, I know I mentioned widgets, but we will get to that eventually. I want to cover all this first. So we have wallpaper and style. You know, first thing we do is click this. Um, so this is if you want to change your... Uh, oh, wow, okay. So you can, the first thing you can do is you can change these two applications to whatever you want, which is pretty sweet. You can do the same thing with phone, which is really awesome. Uh, you can do contact information. You can type literally whatever you want, which is also awesome. You know, you got the ability to move this around, I believe. Oh, okay, so you can actually change the clock style and the clock color um, and the font. This kind of reminds me of iOS, I'm not gonna lie, um, but it still looks cool. I mean, they're, um, at the same time, it does look cool. It's kind of, it's a little bit funny to be honest. Um, but then again, I mean, changing a block screen is not, it's not like a foreign concept or something new to Android. I mean, this has been something you could do since the dawn of fucking time. Excuse me for cussing, trying to stop doing that as much. Um, just to remain a little bit more professional, but yeah, so you can go in here, you can click wallpapers and then you can go right here. So here are the actual wallpapers, right? So you have featured ones. So here are the Uh, so it'll say if it's like a live wallpaper being a video um, and you can scroll through, right? So you have here, let me get a little closer for you um, so you guys can see a little better. So yeah, you have, uh, let's see here, you have all these live wallpapers and if you want to set it, you can just go click it and it will go to this. Um, and as you can see, uh, once I, since it is a video, once I set it, it's going to have this and then the video should show, it should be moving. Start with the flashing display. It's not actually a flickering display. I do believe it is something with the lighting in the room. So if you all see that, just know it's not a part of the phone. It is just, um, unfortunately, the room lighting. I'm just causing that. But yeah, if I get a little closer, it's not gonna do that, I think. Anyway, yeah, sorry, getting off topic. But yeah, so you have the, you know your live wallpaper. Uh, if that was a live wallpaper, I don't know if it actually shows live wallpapers on the lock screen, but let's get back into it to see uh, what exactly is going on um so you have this yeah the wallpaper uh, let's just look a little, look at a little bit more so we have the videos i think the videos only really apply to the home screen they don't do it on the lock screen could be wrong though and i could have just actually picked a photo because not all of them say photos so let's let's try video there we go yeah see that's that's what i did wrong okay so yeah obviously go and apply it and then you know turn it off and you can go oh there you go yeah so you can that's pretty sweet it's uh really freaking awesome to be honest okay sweet um, then correct me if I'm wrong, if Android did this first, 
um, and I'm just full of it. Um, I apologize um, if I said iOS did it first. I just, the last time I checked um, when Apple added all their, their lock screen things, um, it seems like Apple did it first, but who knows? So anyway, you, ha yeah, you have changed wallpapers. I'm gonna go in a little bit more. Uh, we'll do the home screen one just to show y'all. We can go back in here and we can do, um, yeah, so all these, like I said, I think there's a little bit more of an expansion or you can see them in a different way. Yeah, you can see them like this. Um, so that's pretty cool. You have your gallery photos. So it's all the thumbnails I was making and the moon photos I took. Um, we'll get into the camera and I'll show you some photos that I took a little bit later. Um, but yeah, let's see here. So you got the gallery photos and you have graphical photos. So this kind of reminds me of like material design in a sort of flat kind of way. If you guys don't remember, um, a big thing, I think it was in Lollipop. Um, Ender Lollipop came up with this whole, and it might, I don't know if it was actually a later version of Ender, but I think it's Lollipop, um, which is 5.0. They came out with this, uh, this like, um, this whole new flat kind of like design or whatever, which I, I think is pretty sweet. So you had a lot of like kind of uh, interesting kind of like, you know, um, different shapes on the screen. Um, and they stood out a little bit more and they were very, they had different dimensions. It was kind of something like this, right? So if I set this, um, it looks looks pretty cool. Um, I like how it has this little window, but it also shows around. Um, but yeah, so if I hit done, um, it's gonna go ahead and change that. So now we have that live wallpaper here and we have the awesome other wallpaper right there, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so we also have a color palette and now we can go to wallpaper colors. So it'll pretty much pick up off of the wallpaper what I want. And as you can see, like what it changes, it's gonna show you a little preview. As you can see here, you know, you have your little toggles, you have like the brightness, everything like that. It's going to show, it's going to go actually into dialer too, which I just I think it's pretty sweet. Um, you have literally, yeah, you have all the, all the options in there. Uh, it looks like it like changes, like, you know, like the, the numbers, um, as well as the actual typed in numbers. Um, and then, you know, you have your contacts. Um, I do believe that's still the contact photo. I don't know if they adjusted that or not yet. Um, but yeah. So you got that, you have the calculator change as well. So these are just some examples of apps. I'm almost positive there are more. I probably, I think it goes to all basic apps, at least Samsung apps, so that's pretty sweet. I think they're just giving us an example. Um, but yeah, so you got that, and then you have basic colors. Um, so I could go like here, and I could literally just make everything green, or I could do green and blue, which I kind of like, or blue and purple. Um, let's just say this one. Oh, okay, so uh, real quick. Yeah, we can go here, um, and then Uh, apply palette to app icons. Sweet. So when I go here, it's gonna. Yeah, there you go. It looks. It looks pretty cool. Um. Yeah. So you can go and you can change up. Literally, man. Look at all these apps, bro. All the Google apps, man. That is. That's really cool. I mean, uh, I guess except for the Microsoft ones, but you can also go. I think and do this. Um. Information. I don't know if you can do this or not, but um. I do know. If you get something like Nova Launcher and you don't want to use this this launcher, you can actually just go ahead and you can also theme your icons, but um, you can also change like how the actual icon looks. Um, and actually, I commend iOS a little bit because there is that um, that feature where you can go and you can you can uh, sort of like when you open an app or when you open like a, a link or like a shortcut, you can do shortcuts, right? There's a new a new shortcut thing, right? So you can go in and you can click it and then it'll open an app. It does take a little bit longer of an opening. It's not as not as quick as something like you know Android where you can just go in and change the icons. But yeah, that's something that's that is pretty cool because uh, for a while that was a huge jailbreak thing. I think they're trying to do away with people's desire to jailbreak by basically trying to give them features. So I think that's pretty cool on Apple's part. And I'm trying to talk about Apple a little bit because I always crap on them. And you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sway you away from getting an iPhone. Personally, I don't really like it. Um, as you guys can see, I pretty I have like a quick review. Just I don't really go into it much, as it's not a really full review. It's more of just a quick, brief review, and I pretty much just say it's boring. But back to the Prime Focus, the Galaxy S23 Ultra. So we got this. We got the home screen. Let's get back to it. Let's go to more customization. So let's see if we missed anything in wallpaper and style. Um, dim wallpaper when dark mode is on. That's okay. So yeah, if I turn on dark mode, which I pretty much shift the style, um, and I believe that will be in another setting. We will get to. Um, it will shift the wallpaper colors to be uh, darker, um, or it'll be like a darker hue, which I think is pretty sweet. Uh, it's really cool that they actually include that. Um, but yeah, so let's say I go here and I search. 
Okay, so it looks like there's a universal search for anywhere in the applicate, uh, anywhere where you're at. So you got this and you have back. So let's go back. Um, you can also, um, yeah, let's, let's go back. We did wallpaper and style, but you can also hit back down here. You have the, you know, the default menu buttons. You can also do swipe gestures. Um, and I did see that you can swipe from the middle of the screen. We're going to go ahead and get into that and see what we can do, though. Um, but yeah, so we're going to go ahead and go to themes. So themes are pretty sweet. It's actually Galaxy Theme Store. Um, I remember, I remember even jailbreaking like my iPhone and like getting themes installed. Like I, there was a like a Family Guy theme that I had a long time ago that I thought was like the the sickest thing. Where you had like, like when you unlocked it, Peter's laugh. Like, <laughs> I'm yeah, I'm really great at voice impressions, as you guys can tell. Yeah, <laughs> um, but regardless, uh, you know, you had like Peter laughing as you logged in. You could change like the text of the sliding. It was just really cool. So to see that, see something like this just natively on an Android phone, I think is really really cool. Um, and yeah, so yeah, we have that, you know, you have, you have a lot of paid themes. Um, they're only $3. I mean, that really depends on where you're from, how much things are. And if you want to spend any money, I don't really, really recommend it. Cause they do have some cool free ones, which I went to download, but, uh, just keep in mind, a lot of them aren't really necessarily the best looking. And I personally really like the default themes, but then again, if you pay for them, you probably get it like a little bit better, but as you can see, you know, it's all user uploaded themes. And just having a built-in theme store, I think, is really sweet because it allows for a developer community to push themes to the phone that you don't really necessarily need to rely on. Like on the Red Magic 8 Pro, you didn't have a theme store like you do on here, so you are pretty much stuck with what you get unless you install a third-party launcher like Nova Launcher, which I ended up doing, which is really easy. It takes about two seconds, then you can buy Prime, you have more control. So it's not really that big of a deal, but um, just just kind of adding to the whole the whole feel of like you know the Samsung Galaxy theme overall. You can go ahead and you can change to specific Samsung themes that you can only, I guess, like, you know, get with with Samsung. So that's pretty cool. So you have featured and you have top. So this is what I do. You go here and I go to this and then I go to free. So you have all these free ones. You have a Merca one, you know what I'm saying, bro? You have this, like, colorful one of the uh, Aurora Borealis thing. But it's like, if that's what it is, I don't know. It looks like it's kind of based off of that. But if I'm wrong, I'm wrong and I apologize. <laughs> There's that social anxiety. Nice guys. Sweet. Yep. Off topic. Oh goodness. Man, you know, we're hitting us hitting everybody with those nerves, bro. You know what I mean? But yeah, let me fix this camera. Cause I knocked it off the good old stand. But yeah. Anyway. A little bit more adjustment, but yeah, we're back in it. Let's see here. Yeah, so you have all the free ones. I'm gonna get this a little closer so you guys can see. Um, you literally have like anything you freaking want bro and this is something that i honestly kind of forgot about in terms of theming the phone so let's say you want to apply a theme right so you can go ahead and you can do <laughs> this is big. I'm, I'm gonna be honest yeah, i'm all for america and stuff you know serving in the navy try my best got you know disabled but still try my best um but yeah you can do this so <laughs> you don't stand for this flag <laughs> get the hell out <laughs> just i don't know it's it's kind of this is what this theme reminds me of, but then again, it's fine. We're gonna, but we're gonna go ahead and download it because why not? Let's see here. Um, let's see here. So, yep, you have this. There are reviews, so you can go ahead and you can see like what people are saying about it, which I think is sweet. Uh, so that's really cool. They have that. A lot of people are saying that they download it again. Like you know, you have that guy. Uh, that's cool. Yes, yeah, so you have that. And oh, okay, so I guess there are different variants of this theme with different like. Um, variety, um, I guess, but this one's kind of cool. I wish I, yeah, I like this one a lot. I think this one actually looks really good, but I'm sure you can find that download at least of the wallpaper for free. Um, cause it doesn't look like it's a video wallpaper. So you don't have to deal with that. And then you can go, so you really think about it guys, you can actually do all these things yourself. Um, but at the same time, like actually changing these things, you can get, you know, you can go, go oh my goodness, nice stutter. Um, <laughs> you can go into the settings and you can pretty much change the color palette like I showed you guys. So you can really get this theme um, everywhere. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you really wanna spend the, the, it's convenient though, like, right? If you really wanna get this specific theme, you can go ahead and do that. But let's go back to that theme, like you can purchase it, but let's go back to that theme and let's hit apply and let's see what it does. So it does what Winterboard used to do or, um, yeah, which was apply the theme. But yeah, so you got this. You know, you can, as you can see, you have the different applications, like you got the, um, actually, hang on, I don't know if that's a part, I think that's part of the theme, yeah, anyway. So you have these like little like silver rings, you know what I'm saying, or for the folders, and things like that. Um, and so yeah, you have your flag, and then you have this, and then, you know, let's just see if the, 
did what it said it would do with like changing the dialer. Yeah, so that's kind of cool actually. This is something I don't think you could actually pull off with uh, the actual normal settings. So applying a theme actually does have its benefits like right here. I apologize if any of these are your numbers or anything like that, um, but yeah. Uh, just to kind of show an example. Apologies if you're on there. Yeah, you got contacts and all that, which is great. Um, you get contacts recent, all that. You got a dialer. You can go to your last. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if you want to redial, I didn't even know this. You can just hit this and it goes right to it. If you want a video call, I do believe it is with Google Meet. So you do have that, which is which is pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, so you got that. You, have, you know, the dialer app, right? Like, so there are speed dial numbers. There's open to keep. I guess we'll go over the dialer a little bit since I'm already in here. We're going to go over um, each application in depth in a little bit after we get done with the customization. But I kind of just want to take care of this just really quickly. So you have speed dial numbers. You have, um, so if you go in here, you can go ahead and you can, oh, you can do name or number. You can set the number and you can set the contact. So say my buddy Alec and then name or number. Uh, so let's say like I do that, right? So we set it to a specific number. So I hit two. It's going to pull up uh, his number. Um, even though he doesn't have a two in there, as you guys can see, I, I assigned it right there. But let's say I call two. Is it going to go? No, it won't go necessarily to that. Um, but it does look like it pulls it up immediately if you do that. So it is, uh, it is pretty quick. Maybe if I hold it. Oh yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's that's what it was. Uh, I don't know what that US SSD thing is, but um, eh, regardless, well, I'll figure that out later. But regardless, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, let's see here. And obviously phone calls have worked, I've used phone calls, so it's no big deal. But yeah, yeah, yeah. so I just wanna clarify that. But yeah, so you have that, um, you can go here, you can go to uh, just open keypad. Um, phone will always have open keypad in view. Okay, visual voicemail. You can do that, you can see all the other ones, and then you can go to settings. You can do block numbers, Bixby text call, which is probably a uh, voice sort of like, whoa, what's this? Hang on, hang on, calls are answered automatically, responses, whoa, dude. That is awesome, so this is this is great. So yeah, so this is, I think, Samsung's sort of like version of that Google thing that I was talking about, so that's really, it's really cool. So it'll take like a robocaller voice, and it'll turn it into text. I don't know how recent this is. Could be like a year old. I think they added this though, which is it's pretty sick. Um, you have call background, you have call alerts and ringtone. Uh, what's call background? So you can go and just, I guess like set a background. Oh, that's cool. So you can do like uh, video, you can set dark mode. You can do, um, or you can add your own with select from gallery or create an AR emoji or add a call. Like, so you can change your call background. I think you can do it per contact too, or you can just do it for the general one, but that's actually pretty sweet. So you have the call alerts and your ringtone. So right here, uh, I mean, obviously, as you guys can see, uh, call alerts and ringtone. So you can go in here and you can go ahead and change all these settings. So vibrate when answer, vibrate when call ends, play. Wow, these are, these are some in-depth things. Play tone when call connects. You, so you can toggle these on or off. Play tone when dial like when call ends. So yeah, so if you like end it and it goes beep or whatever, you can turn that off actually, which is really cool. So allow arm uh, alarm, select notification sounds and calls. So if you get like a text, uh, it won't just like show up in the background if you have it on. Um, and I guess I know for most of the time people on speaker can't really hear it, but I guess this is ensuring just in the fringe case that they do hear it, it does not happen. Um, but yeah, so oh, let's see here. Uh, you have the, you know, your ringtone, T-Mobile, T-Jingle. Uh, you can go in here, you can do all your different ringtones. Dude, this is... <laughs> Did -did -did -ding. Beep, 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 beep. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll do that. I kind of like it, you know, it sticks to the Samsung theme, especially with my Merca theme. I don't really know how it applies, but it does. Not really, but whatever. Call vibration, basic call. So you can go ahead and you can do sync with ringed. Whoa. That is cool, bro. 
bing, 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 motherfucker. And then you can do short, medium, basic call, heartbeat, TikTok, or yeah, TikTok, waltz, zig, 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 offbeat, spinning, siren, blah, blah, blah. I think you can customize yours too. Maybe, maybe not. You can change up the intensity too. Whoa. I kind of like this. It's not as it's not like too uh, uh, like intrusive, which is nice. So yeah, we have that's pretty sick. Vibrate while ringing. Um, that's hmm. I mean, I suppose that makes sense considering like. I mean, oh wait, no, I don't want that. So like, I guess it's like when you're ringing somebody for like a call, it'll vibrate. I don't want that. Um, so play sound for keypad taps vibrate for key keypad taps okay so essentially yeah you're gonna get like okay so it's like when you press it are you gonna get haptic feedback and are you gonna get a sound so i i do like that i do like a little bit of the feedback and something that's cool with samsung as you guys saw a little bit um they do allow a lot of um it just it like it's really nice like the haptic feedback i noticed in this compared to my phone filming on right now the red magic 8 pro it just doesn't feel as nice in the 8 pro it's not it's not bad like i'm not saying like i think I think something people need to realize nowadays is phones have hit a threshold. Okay, we've hit a place where pretty much every phone, even budget phones, are going to function and they're going to do well. So when I say something is better, it's not like it, it's not black and white. It's like a gray space because what's really happening is that mostly, I mean, if we're going basic features too, or like just like haptic feedback, because it's pretty, uh, it's a pretty basic feature, right? You know, if you're if we're talking about this. If I say I like this more, I'm not implying that the other one is bad. And I think people need to understand that. If I like this better and say it's better, it's not like it's better and the other one's terrible. It's like it's better, one, because I like it better. And two, it's a little bit more like it just feels like I'm like doing a little click versus like all of the same vibration throughout the phone. And that's fine if they don't have that because, I mean, like it, if you guys want to watch my full review on the Magic, Magic, I'm the Red Magic 8 Pro. Uh, Pro Plus, I literally go over, and I have a bunch of videos on it. I go over all the pro, like all the pros and cons and everything like that, and just go over everything in the phone. And there's a lot of packed-in features in there in the gaming mode that you don't necessarily have in this, right? So there are obviously pros and cons and different uh, strengths and weaknesses and all of that. But like, yeah. So keep in mind, like I said, like I'm not saying that the other one is bad. If I like this, it's just you gotta, you guys gotta keep in mind, like that things are more grayscale than they used to be. Uh, it's not 2008 with the first iteration of Android. Um, so yeah, so you have the recent contacts, you know, like that, you can search, you can just like search. But like, if, as you saw, this is something that iOS doesn't have. And like, like I said, iOS isn't bad, but instead of, I don't have to type the name, I can just do this and it's gonna pull up every, it's gonna even do the, the dial tone, like, uh, that's my friend Jason, but ADD, you know what I'm saying? But, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but like, so it's also going to type in like the keypad numbers too. It's not just going to be the numbers and like on iOS, I don't know if they changed this, but from what I knew, you have to literally you can type out the full name or the full number to actually get a contact to pull up. And this starts pulling up right away based on numbers, um, or the letters. Like, let's say I did like, let's say six zero two. Like, so it's going to pull up all these six zero twos. And if it runs out of six zero twos, uh, yeah, it looks like so. If you specify an obvious one, I think it can tell the difference of what you are requesting. Again, apologies if I shared your number. Um, you're probably going to be fine. Uh, but yeah, uh, so yeah, we got that. Well, let's see here. So, do we have any other settings in this dialer uh, before we get back to customization? Open to last viewed. Um, what is that? Phone will open to last viewed screen. Okay, that's cool. Um, so visual voicemail and then you have the settings and like let's go back in the settings yeah yeah so you have quick decline messages uh, answering or ending calls um, you know recall recaller names allowed answer automatically press volume up to answer calls press side key to end calls awesome oh, that's kind of cool um, press side key to end calls uh, I don't really know if I want to do that. I kind of like just like the software dragging things like that. So, re uh, whoa, goodness. I don't know. I mean, this is something. So somebody made a comment saying that the Android is not really, um, you know, 
set up for like the blind or something. But I mean, look at here, read caller names aloud. Obviously you have to be able to see to like get to here. But if you have somebody setting up your phone, you can just have at least have this, like it'll read out loud, like who's calling. And then you can, you know, feel for hardware. I don't know all the, the things that people need to do for being blind. Uh, don't claim to be an expert in that. So forgive me if, if I said something or whatever, that's not, uh, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be offensive pretty much. Um, but yeah, so we have that. We have the real time text. We have Wi-Fi calling, uh, real time text. What's that? Re visible during calls. Oh, okay. Yeah. So this is what I think the Bixby thing was visible during calls. Real time text is an alternative to external TTY devices. You can use RTT to communicate via text while on a voice. Call. Oh yeah. Yeah, exactly. It was that Bixby voice thing. It's very similar. I'm pretty sure. I think they just it might be the implementation of Bixby. Like, I think if that's just what it is. It's it's like pretty much having the Samsung flavor on. <laughs> Damn, Becky, look at all these flavors. <laughs> Sorry. There's a video a long time ago. It's like it's like this pickup video, like a long time ago, and it's not even really that, but it like popped off. Like, but basically, it's this it's this dude talking about how he's like, you know, when you have a girl over, you gotta make sure you got the drinks. He's like. You know, we got like the, he's got, got the, the Lipton iced tea for the Erica Badu chick. I don't know. It's, it's funny. It, it's, it's like, and that's like a pretty, kind of like a hippie chick, but, but you know what I'm saying? So he literally like, goes through Like it's, it's a really funny video. So like, damn Becky, look at all these flavors. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so basically Samsung's like flavor on that is the Bixby version. So, uh, there's supplementary services like Show caller ID, call forwarding, call waiting, fixed dialing numbers. What's that? Turn on FDN, FDN, change pin to for FDN access, FDN list. I don't know what that means. Uh, I'm assuming, I don't, yeah, I don't know what that means, honestly. Fixed dialing numbers. Um, maybe it's like, dude, yeah, no idea, honestly. But yeah, if y'all know what that is, I'll leave it in the comments. But, or you can just do a quick Google search, uh, like I'm not going to do right now, because I really want to not make this thing for like forever. I want, I want to be efficient here. Um, so yeah, you have love, but yeah, you have the, the FDN things. That's, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. So, um, there are other call settings, hide contacts without numbers, show caller information, show contacts, numbers, and calls swipe, uh, to call or text swipe to call or text. What the heck? That's kind of weird. I don't know what that is. Oh, okay. Um, I guess it's like the little menu that pops up if you can go call or hang up or like text on the side. That might be what that is. Uh, hearing aid compatibility. Adjust your phone's audio so it works better with hearing aids. That is cool. That's really, really sick for people who are deaf. Wow, that's that's great. Um, yeah. Oh, oh, and another thing too is sound. Uh, they do. I'll show it a little bit in the settings, but we'll go over it later. But they do have this thing where you can select your age and it's going to adjust like the frequency that's that's pretty much played based on your age and then you can also do a literal hearing test so they can determine in detail what you might actually need um like it will literally be like an official one like hearing out of like that and you'll tap like it's it's wild dude like that was something i saw i was like man that is so freaking cool um but yeah like these are the things like sure there's customization but bro there are a lot of useful things like that is very useful um, that right there, and hopefully you guys are seeing that there are a lot of useful things just in the phone app, dude. Like I've never, I've never seen this shit on iOS. I haven't really looked in depth, I suppose, in a long time. But but yeah, I haven't seen this on iOS, and good for Samsung because they're really they're really making leaps and bounds here. They're they're adding a lot of cool stuff, a lot of useful stuff. It's it's like productivity. I think is a big one. Everyone talks about customization. I think the big thing is productivity um, that Android really takes the cake on. Somebody said people want familiarity, but that, I don't know. I don't really think that that's a proper argument. And that's, like you said, that that's why people choose the, uh, the iPhone. But if they use Android phones and didn't listen to people who said that they sucked, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, they would have this and this would be familiarity to them. I think it's just like, it feels a lot like it's just people sort of go with what other people say. And a lot of the people are wrong a lot of the times. Like, I mean, I could be wrong on things, of course, but like people just don't know what they're talking about. Like, Somebody's had an iPhone their whole life, and then they're like, oh, like Android sucks, dude. I had an experience with my $100 Android phone seven years ago, uh, and it was really bad. And then I was forced to pay $1,400 over time for an iPhone. Uh, so basically, this one's better. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, and then like they compare older generations or their first impression to the newest iPhone. Of course, dude. Like, And they say, like, obviously, that'd be 
but one's better than the other, but I think people don't realize they're doing it subconsciously. And so I think that's like something just to pay attention to. But but yeah, like so we did the dialer, you know what I'm saying? It's it's pretty sweet. We're gonna go ahead and close all this out. Get right back into customization. So we went into the themes, showed y'all themes. Uh, we have widgets. So let's go into the widgets. You have Ooh, a search for widget option. That's pretty sweet. It is also themed. You can do a voice command one, and it is Google Voice, which is pretty sweet. So you have quick actions, you know, search YouTube, home, uh, shorts, and all of that. So you have the subscription thing as well. So it also shows the, I guess, like the, I guess, like how much space it's going to take up in terms of like grid space. So, you know, three by two. The fast, uh, and it gives you information. So the fastest way to search and browse YouTube. Okay, that's cool. So you got, you have, uh, you know, Google Maps, New York Times, Yahoo, ESPN. So Chrome bookmarks, that's that's pretty cool that they have it specifically for Chrome. Um, I mean, I know it is Android, but I remember them prioritizing their browser. I don't know if they use Android browser. I don't, I never even saw it on there. I mean, maybe I missed it completely, but I think they switched over Chrome, which is actually, is actually pretty sick. Like, I think Samsung is is really trying to listen to their fan base. I think that they get a lot of flack for having bloatware and stuff like that, but I really, I really think that they do add a lot of useful features. Like just going through and seeing this productivity, man, it is pretty mind blowing, honestly. But yeah, so you have your WhatsApp stuff, um, which is pretty sweet. So you can pretty much just access like your messages really quickly. Um, so smart suggestions. You have oh, okay. So based on app usage, it's going to populate. Oh, that's oh, so actions can be in here too. So like little shortcuts to certain things. Um, that's pretty sick. But I think what it's really gonna do is it's going to put um and I think actions are based on like little commands you can set up for certain things, kind of like that, um, the shortcuts thing on iOS. And I think it's just gonna show your either most used features or it's going to show your most used applications. So if you're looking for something that's just gonna populate automatically like all your applications and you don't have to think about it, like this thing is perfect. It's gonna take your most used apps and shove it in here. And that's really awesome. It takes a four by two on the grid. And just to read the official description, apps and actions will suggest based on how you use your phone. So that's that's pretty sweet. Um, and if you wanna add a widget, just go here and you can just put it right, Ooh, use data access, turn on for smart suggestions. So it can use just apps and other Okay, I need to do this because I don't know what is going on. Usage data, I don't know what that even means, bro. Usage data access. Keeps interrupting. I'm gonna do some research, figure out what that means, figure out what that means, but the thing is there's always a workaround for weird things that happen on Android. Uh, this isn't obviously the case because you know you didn't see this thing pop up, popped up in the call, I'm gonna figure that out. Um, no, that this isn't a default feature. I'm sure it's just some settings I was fucking around with that I switched on that I shouldn't have or something like that. And you shouldn't be worried because there is always a workaround and it's not hard. Just look up a tutorial. You know what I'm saying? Like, no worries. Um, but yeah, I want to be fair and just kind of point out when there are some weird things that are going on with the phone. Um, but I don't want people sitting here saying there's bugs. Like people are complaining about shutter lag and Samsung updated it and fixed it within like a month of people complaining, which is pretty impressive considering all the stuff they have to make sure it functions when they implement a new function. That's the thing guys, with updates, I don't think you realize like when they're adding something new, they also have to make sure that everything is compatible with everything else because if something comes in, it's gonna, it might affect something else, which affects something else. It's like a chain, it's like a domino effect. So that's why uh, companies take forever to update, especially companies with like lack of like software support. I don't think that's the case. I think it just takes them longer because their team size. Samsung has a big team. So you're gonna get, um, you're gonna get application, or excuse me, you're gonna get phone updates that are, that work with certain things really well. When they add a new feature, like it's it's going to be good because of the fact they have such a huge team. That's why Apple does well too, because they have a huge team behind them. They have a lot of money so they can really afford the best of the best. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's the thing with big companies. So if you're looking to have something reliable, I would always recommend the big three, Samsung, Google, and um, let's see here, and Apple. I really think you should stick with that. I personally like Nubia and I like Red Magic and I think it's great for gaming. Um, but if you want an overall like really well-rounded average device. I really would recommend this thing, man. Like the battery isn't the best um, and it's also not calibrated. Like I give it give it a few weeks, I feel like, and it's really gonna be showing its strength. Like that's the thing, when you first get a phone, if you're basing off your the battery, your assumption of the battery off of how it is right away, you're like, oh, the battery sucks. And then you switch it in for an iPhone that um, doesn't really optimize your battery that well or doesn't make it as obvious with like the quick drain because they're really trying to figure out what's going on 
or based on your usage. I feel like the, the faster they do it, the faster they can optimize it, which means the battery device, like the battery in the device is going to drain faster intentionally, I feel like at least right away, um, just because it can kind of figure things out much faster. Um, if, if, if this is based off of, uh, you know, battery, I don't know if battery drainage is the direct result, but if it is the direct result, I guess that does make sense. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. So, yeah. So we have, uh, let's go back to smart suggestions. So let's try that again. Yeah. So we got here, it's going to go to my most recent apps and let's see what this is. I guess it's just a little icon, but you can go. Um, right back into YouTube, for instance. Boom. Yeah, we got my little text tone. I felt a little vibrate, um, and that was because of the settings that I have in the um, sound notification. We will get into that. Um, you saw a little bit with the, the dialer, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to keep covering everything. Uh, hopefully, you guys have liked it so far. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, we're at 669 right now, which is pretty sweet. Uh, jump past that fucking scary ass 666. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, <laughs> why is this my battery right now? <laughs> or why is this my subscriber amount right now? <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, I'm going to switch off the Merca theme um, because I personally just want to have a different theme. Um, let's go, actually, sorry, my bad. Here, we're going to go here in themes, and then we're going to go to, so this is how to get out of it if you do. Um, I feel like that little Mario thing is in theme with the Mario world that's kind of popping off right now at Universal. If you guys haven't checked that out, I guess it's pretty sweet. Um, there are a lot of people going over like the food, and I think the like designs of the food is really awesome. Like, I love theme parks, man. I love I love like a place you can go and you can kind of almost like step into a world. I think that's why I really love VR too. But yeah, so oh okay, so we're gonna go actually something I missed with themes real quick. So you can do wallpapers too, and you can do icons. So there are icon packs. It's pretty awesome. There's like a lot. If you all want to, when you actually get this phone, you can go like there's specific ones you can search as well. There are top themed ones, right? Like here, you know what I'm saying? So you got that. You need top free, like I showed you in the other category. It's the same kind of layout. Um, and then you have AODs, which are always on display. So you can actually go in here. And there were some settings, right, for um, the Red Magic 8 Pro with the different settings. But here, man, there's an open store. And that means that people are adding constant, like constantly updating. Sorry, I'm cleaning off my display on my other phone. So the brightness is popping off right now. Um, but yeah, so you have the new ones, right? You can go feature top. Like, this is sick. Look at all these AODs, man. Always on displays if you're wondering what AOD means. But yeah, if you want to go and apply it, I'm going to go to just free. And then I'm going to go here. It's the same kind of a application and process for, like, whatever you're doing. Um, but yeah, let's, I mean, let's just do this one, right? This is a color this kind of goes with the dialer kind of the like color palette thing I set. Um, nice three star review. Just a picture. I guess there's no animation with it. Um, so if people want like an animation, um, that's fine. But could literally show it as a picture. But don't touch my phone. We're gonna have this one. It just <laughs> this is absurd. Okay, I'm not gonna read reviews because it's just gonna sway my opinion. This is the thing with reviews, like. You don't want to trust every single review you read. Although it's cool, none of them work. FBI notified. What the fuck? What? What is this dude talking about? <laughs> dude, people are weird, bro. A one star. FBI was notified about my do not touch phone thing, dude? What the fuck, dude? Like, that's why Apple's the best, dude. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, okay. So clearly there are a lot of uh, a lot of hate going on in here. They're not all bad. I'm sure they're I'm sure they're fine. Uh, let's see the mushrooms. Let's just get to that download because I'm tired of reading fucking reviews of everyone's complaints. There's going to be complaints about everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just the reality, bro. Uh, clock and image. Boom. AOD. Uh, let's see here. Whoa, what the fuck? I'm sorry. That was cool as titties. What the hell? That's... All right. You know, I might keep it. That animation is sick as shit. Okay. Um, I don't know if, yeah, okay, sweet. So you got a little, got the little, uh, little mushroom thing. That's kind of cool. All right, that, <laughs> dude, anyway, uh, I'm going to go back to, yeah, turn off. Uh, Cause I just want you guys to have like the, you know, like the regular theme that's going to come default on your phone before you guys choose one. Um, but yeah, let's get to there. Okay. So we're going to go here and we're going to go to. Uh, close this menu and then we're gonna go to purchased items and then so this is just even if you didn't purchase it it's just showing all the things you did 
So you got that, and then you have, uh, let's see here. So if you wanna unapply it, you just pretty much go, um, or actually, huh. Themes, let's see here. Okay, um, reapply. Uh, there was a literal option for me to like, I don't know why I'm not finding this. I apologize guys, um, but yeah. I'm gonna find this uh, default theme real quickly. We're gonna find this real quick. Menu, um, let's see here. My stuff, that's probably what you do. Okay, yeah, there we go. So you go, you don't go to purchase, you go to my stuff, and then real quick, it'll show your wallpapers, your icons, you're always on displays. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, we're gonna go back to the stock one just because I personally really enjoy stock Samsung. I really like, I like when I get like a, a experience that the device wants me to have, especially when you get a lot of phones like me. It, it allows me to feel like I'm getting a different phone. There are obviously hardware differences and things like that going on. But overall, like, if you if you review a lot like I do, things become like start to blend together, and so I try to keep things um, basically um, original with the way that they are. What is going on there? Smart uh, create stack. Okay, so you can do more, but I don't know what that is about. That's kind of weird. I think it's just because it for some reason forgot it when I did that. Here, let me just reapply it. Huh, okay. Yeah, Samsung widgets don't even work, bro. I applied it and then changed my theme and it didn't even work, bro. Like, I <laughs> I swear people scour, like, Android videos just to find things that don't work to, like, back up their little theory of, like, iOS being superior, bro. It's fucking boring, like, honestly. I'd rather, I'd rather deal with, like, a few little inconveniences like this thing, and I don't know why it reset, too. But um, it could be an issue with the actual themes that were applied, like the transition between themes. And I think what happens is when you change your theme, it's also changing your widgets. It's like adjusting your widgets. And I think because it adjusted the widgets, it had to reset it. And so because it reset it, it's not picking up the most recent applications. Um, I think it takes like a few seconds of just like kind of using the phone for new ones to populate. And I think that's actually what happened when I think about it. Um, so I think it just like... You know, if it's pulling off a theme, it's gonna reset it just to make make sure everything's good. And so I think that's the, that's the reason why uh, I did that. But yeah, so you got more, you got smart suggestions, you know, you got battery. Um, I can go, ooh, that's cool. I don't know what this is, but let's see here. Um, what kind of, oh, okay, I don't have a watch, my bad. But yeah, you can go and you can, oh, okay, so it'll show like the pen battery, which is pretty sweet, we're gonna get into the pen later. Uh, the battery, and then it's gonna show like your watch and your buds, I'm pretty sure for these two. I don't have a watch or any earbuds, but yeah, having like battery circles, that's really cool. So you can see specifically like what's going on and don't have to actually open an app. Really convenient, honestly. Uh, let's go back to widgets though. So you got this, you got battery, you have Bixby Vision. So what's Bixby Vision? You have Discover and you have these Translate, Text, Discover, and Wine. I don't know what Wine is, but Oh, I think it's like showing like local area type things. Um, and also this is useful because I'm gonna show you a feature with the S Pen a little bit later, but just a heads up, you can actually go ahead and you can hover your S Pen over text of a different language and you can set the translation languages. So from Spanish to English, for instance, I have, like I said this in the other video, but I have Spanish speaking family members. So when I go ahead and I can translate their text very easily by hovering the pen over, it'll translate the word. It's not perfect, but you can kind of figure out like what the sentence is trying to say based on visual cues. Um, and I think if it had the overall like context, it would probably change it up. And it's for individual words, I'm sure it's applying like the context if that word were by itself because I'm only scanning those words. But yeah, regardless, I'm gonna show you all that that can do. But yeah, so you got that, you got a uh, calendar. So you got the my birthday, 184 days left until I turn a crusty 29. That is awesome, guys. Woo, exciting. Um, so we got. Unless that is not the actual day. Let's see here, March 22nd. Uh, oh, okay, so you go in here and then you set your birthday. So March 22nd. Oh, okay, so for this, I suppose you have to have your, your birthday programmed in. And I didn't do that. 
But yeah, so here's uh, okay. So this is something that iPhones can do too, but you can also do the stack thing. I think it's I think it's a really useful feature. I like that that uh, different phones. People get mad when phones copy other ones, but at the same time, bro, like think about it. Why would you not want a good feature on your phone if somebody notices something good? And just from a sheer like objective standpoint, wouldn't you want that on your phone? If say, like Apple took forever to add widgets, yes. But at the same time, like they finally added widgets, so it's more convenient for people on their home screens. Like they don't have to do as many steps to get to the information they want. It's useful for somebody if they're looking at their phone while they're driving. Like, and it, I don't recommend doing that, but it definitely happens, and it's not smart. Don't recommend doing it. Like I said, do not recommend doing it. But if you do it, at least find a way for you to have less visual contact with your phone and more time on the road. That is, because yeah. Anyway, so. You got the Chrome, so you got Chrome Dinosaur, that's kind of cool. So yeah, these are like little games. Oh, that's kind of, I'm gonna add this, honestly. You got, you got little games, you know what I'm saying? So here, we'll do this. Tab the dino to play, where'd you go? Oh, it's like little fucking jumping, it's like a jumping game. Bloop, bloop, a fucking bloop. Yeah, that's cool. Um, Yeah, we, we messed up, boys, okay. That's kind of, yeah, so that's kind of that's kind of neat, honestly. It's pretty neat. I don't know if you guys have seen the video. That's pretty neat, dude. But yeah, so we're gonna remove that. But yeah, so we're gonna get back into the widgets once again, uh, right here. So you have widgets and uh, did we do we did Chrome and we did yeah we did Chrome yeah we just did Chrome. So yeah, and Chrome real quick, you have like, you know, search, Google Maps, New York Times, that's Chrome search. Um, for like specific things, I guess it's gonna pull up your bookmarks, like it kinda, it kinda showed earlier. I think it, what it does is it shows a general um, applications up there, or widgets up there that it thinks most people are looking for. So I think that's pretty convenient. You know, you have alarm, you have digital clock, you have an analog clock. Oh, you have a dual clocks. Oh, that is really convenient, dude. So if you're like a, tr if you travel a lot and you need to know the different times, you can set a dual clock. So you can have two times showing at once. That is super cool. I think you can also just add two widgets, but if you don't want to take them out of real estate, this is your perfect solution. So I, I think that's pretty sweet, man. Um, yeah, so we're gonna go to, um, let's see here. <laughs> um. Okay, contacts, gonna show them. It's gonna show contact, direct dial. Ooh, look at this, direct dial and direct message. So if you wanna just call somebody real quickly, literally if you need to call somebody, like and it's super urgent, you can just add this direct dial widget in your literal, like, like let's say I do this, right? And just go here. So I put this in my home screen and then I do, let's see who I want to call. Who do I wanna motherfucking call, bruh? Um, let's go to, uh, let's go to Ashley Furniture because I need a couch or some shit. Okay, so if I wanna do that, bada boom, bruh, right here. You know what I'm saying? And like I said in those settings, if I didn't want like a hang up sound like that, the bloop, if you guys heard that, uh, that I could've turned that off in the settings, just a reminder, that's, that's where some of those settings applied, if you guys were wondering. But yeah, I'm not, I'm, you know, I'm really not looking to uh, call Ashley Furniture on, you know, speed dial, pretty much, so, so yeah, so, if you don't find, I guess like, so if you're not in the application, you're still trying to call somebody, uh, you can also do it with messaging. So it's gonna open up a messaging window or your other window. If you don't wanna have like the entire, sorry y'all, I'm just trying to adjust this. Just had it. Okay, nice, got it back. Um, yeah, so. Got this and yeah, let's go back to widgets just a little bit more. Mm, let's see here, yeah, device care. Um, so you have the optimization. So if you want to clean up your pretty much what this means is you want it's like cleaning up your RAM. Like that's what people think. Honestly, I think like optimization from like I see, I don't even think people know what they're talking about when they say optimization. Dude, this phone isn't optimized. Like, really, I can't I can't clear my RAM and clear my storage on my fucking the red magic eight pro i can clearly do that like it's just ram cleared like that's that's the thing bro uh fortunately i don't have an eight gig device so yo do not buy that 128 or 256 version please spend money on the 512 because you're going to get eight gigs of ram and that sucks ass 
people were mad about the eight gigs i'd be mad too because it's just a straight up downgrade honestly um people say they don't need it but you do if you want to play games or if you do if you really want to do anything kind of like remotely modern with with being power from the device you need more than eight gigs of ram like you do i'm being honest like some people might disagree and i know it's personal usage but at least for me like i really really do think you need that but yeah so oh this is cool so screen time like let's yeah this is actually useful so i can just not be on my phone okay so like let's say you do run in that situation uh oh, let's go here so let's say yeah let's so let's say you run back into that situation where you need like i said i couldn't add it because of whatever reason um, I can go back to widgets, oops, back to widgets, and I can go to right back down here, and I can do device care, or excuse me, I can do well-being, and I can add this again, and I can go just drag it right over here, and I pop it right there. So, yep, so if I want to see how much time I've done, which is seven hours of screen time, you know, really healthy, not at all. <laughs> yeah, so Instagram seems to be my my main problem right now, Instagram, then YouTube, and then Chrome. So yeah, it seems, and I'm not gonna lie, I think I was on Instagram on Chrome too. So Instagram is a bit of a problem, honestly, for me at least, but yeah. So <laughs> yeah, I like to take social media breaks as you guys can tell. <laughs> um, yeah, sorry about my dad jokes. Anyway, let's see here. So we got, yeah, we're gonna go back to more widgets. And we have, uh, let's see here. Uh, Google Drive, you know, you can do like drive quick actions, search for your drive and it'll show like suggested files because if you open or opening up uh, maybe a certain kind of file or a certain file a lot, like you need to access to it. Having this is probably very convenient. Uh, so I would totally recommend doing that, honestly. Um, but yeah, yeah, so you can do a uh, drive scan. Oh, that's cool. So you can do like a document scan. So like, let's say you want to just scan like a document. This is kind of cool. This is actually pretty useful. I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah. So, or I, yeah, so it's going to do that. I'm going to go to this one. Um, but yeah, nice. Um, apologies for y'all seeing any documents. Yeah, this is like hackers galore. I'm gonna fucking take his broke ass paycheck. Thanks, guys. Really, really helping you boy out here. <laughs> yeah, anyway, um, back to this. And then we got the themes again. Oh, excuse me, guys. My bad. Uh, widgets. Yes, yeah, so we're making our way down. Town. Um, Yes, we got Gallery, Gmail, Google. Yeah, I'm assuming you all know it's going to be mail widgets, Google. Let's see, Google. It's going to be, oh, cool. Okay, so it's going to maybe show calendar, <laughs> like the search, like I said, or sound search. That's pretty interesting. Um, I think that's going to be like your sort of like SoundCloud thing. You know what I'm saying? So if like, or not sound, sorry. Uh, the It's like Shazam. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like a Shazam type app or like a, when you ask like Google to like listen to the music around you, that'll do that too. Random, but if you're considering a pixel, something the pixel does actually is it will just listen to music in the background in like just um, whether you want it to or not pretty much. And it'll pretty much, and it's it doesn't consume a lot of battery because it only, it pretty much will recognize it very quickly. The AI, So something that Google has that's really nice with the Tensor G2 is the AI tech on that phone is actually really, really awesome. It's like, it is really great. And so um, because of that, it does things like listen to music and store it really fast. So it's not gonna do any draining your battery, but what you can do, like I said, basically is you can open it up, it's gonna show all the songs that you listen to, which is really awesome. So you don't have to actually search or use, Shaz use goodness. You don't have to use Shazam at all or any kind of like, you know, Google sort of like direct listening, like it's gonna do it passively, which I find very, very useful, especially when I'm listening to a song in public or doing something that I just, you know, if I have like a playlist going, I don't know what it is or if I'm, or if it's just like, actually, I don't know if it does it for your own, but I know if there's like a public playlist going, you don't know what it is. It's going to basically collect that information for you. And you can go from that. You can actually click into that. And I think this music finder thing might do the same thing. I don't know entirely, but yeah, let's see here. Uh, 
Okay, so I guess they do. Uh, there's so many freaking widgets, bro. This is something awesome. Like, dude, you got, dude, this is insane, bro. You got maps. Like, you, okay, so you have maps right here. I'm gonna go a little faster because this widgets thing is just taking up a lot of time. You got morning music, um, single routine. Whoa, dude, you can literally have routines. You can have like app. Whoa, dude, that's so crazy. Samsung has done a lot. They say there's blower. This, this shit is useful, dude. Like, honestly, I mean, like, yeah, you're, you know, bounce. You got, yo, wish I had that on my bank account right now. I'm saying, bro. <laughs> uh, OneDrive, you know, you got the photos and all that. So this is something that comes on your phone. I think you get 100 gigs by default if you order the international version. I don't really know. I think it just locks you into subscription, though. So I would try your best to score it on the hardware and not into cloud, considering this does come with 512 gigs. If you do spend the $1,300, um, you can also do 256, but like I said, look out for the eight gigs of RAM because I don't think that's enough, especially for a flagship phone that you're spending $1,400, $1,300 on. Like it's not, eight doesn't cut it. Uh, unless you're willing to buy an iPhone and then I guess you, I don't know, you're not really too concerned with specs and then yeah, that's that. But um, yeah, so you have Outlook, you, you know what I'm saying? You have that. Um, let's see here, so you can go back. Yeah, obviously you do that. You do Google Photos, like I said, so you got Ooh, yeah, boy. Okay, so it's got the highlights. If you ever get those like weird Apple like highlight things, Google has a version of it too. Um, and it'll show it right here. So that is pretty sweet. So you can get your fucking doggo on uh, repeat on your screen, which is pretty sweet. Um, you got, yeah, your reminders that you set in the reminder app. And then you can actually have like the checklist. Or actually, you can make it just pretty much smaller so it shows... Uh, Oh, okay, so based on like a category you set, oh, whoa, that's cool. Okay, so you can either set all basically, so like, or and it'll give you an option to switch between them, or you can just do one that's actually just like selected out of the folders too. So that's that's pretty useful. You can have specific reminders there. If, if something's more important than the other ones, you can pretty much avoid it conflicting with that. So if you're somebody that's really scheduled needs reminders for things, then that is really perfect for you. So Samsung Health. You have the sleep hours, that is useful. I'm gonna do that. And then the, uh, I've got to set up, you, you know, you gotta configure this stuff, but uh, we're gonna get right back into this here. Hold up, um, let's see here. Is it in here? No, it's right here. Yeah, so health, you have that, and you have the steps for the day. That's cool too. You guys can see I didn't walk around at all today. Um, no, I have to, you have to pretty much go in and enable tracking settings and stuff. So, um, yeah, don't know why, I guess, like they don't do it for, I don't know. You probably have to configure more and do like height, weight, and all that shit. But yeah, so uh, we can just do that Samsung health thing in a little bit too. Um, but yeah, let's see here. So we have all these widgets, right? Look at all these chickens. Dude, I'm a mess. Here, we'll, uh, we'll see here. Let's go, let's go. We did, yeah, we did modes of routines, then a federal thing, OneDrive Outlook. We did photos, reminder, health. Yeah, so we got the two health things like I showed you. You have the, uh, specifically Samsung internet, you have the search and you have your bookmarks. Pretty similar to the, um, the Google one, but the Google one had a game, which was pretty cool actually. So yeah, Samsung Notes, you know, Note Shortcut. Yeah, I would recommend not doing this if you don't get roasted by your friends <laughs> because like, your boy got roasted in middle school for having something silly like this. He just like fucking took my phone and read it, bro. I was so embarrassing. Horrible, horrible memory, bro. <laughs> just terrible. Okay, so you have the protected. Um, okay, so it's gonna show if your Wi-Fi is pretty much protected um, where you can set like a um, you can set over like an extra layer of security. I think what it does is it hides your IP address so people can't really get into it. I don't know how effectively it does it. I'm pretty sure it does it well, um, but I'm sure there are hackers that can fucking find a way. They, they always do, honestly. Uh, but yeah, so you got that, you got smart things. So it's gonna be, you know, your scene, I guess like it's gonna be good morning, good night movie. Oh, so this is like the, so you can set different backgrounds and you can set different modes and like you can have like default settings for different like, so on Apple it's called profile like profiles on here, it's just called scenes, but yeah, so you have different scenes. You have these scene widgets. Um, yes, yeah, so you have that, you have weather, 
Um, you have the weather widgets. They're a little bit more graphic than just the, the clear one. That's like the PNG. This one will show you time and that shows you this, this, and this. I kind of like miss, you know, you know what I miss? I miss the HTC one because the HTC one was pretty giant. Yeah, we're going to go back and do the, you know, actually real quick. So you do have toggles here. So you have device control. Um, let's go right here. So you can see smart things. I guess that's, yeah, that's the smart thing, widget thing we were just actually going over, which is pretty good time, you know, good timing. But yeah, so we're gonna disable that. Um, and I just wanna go over this really quickly. Um, you know, you got Wi-Fi, sound, Bluetooth, auto rotate, airplane mode, flashlight, mobile data. So you can turn off your data if you don't wanna use it, mobile hotspot. This is pretty much Wi-Fi for another phone off your service or another device. Uh, power saving, you know, you have power saving mode, you have location, you can do link to windows, you can do screen recorder. It's pretty cool. I remember someone saying that you can't record your screen on Android, but I've been able to do that since the beginning of time, like for real. Um, so anyway, quick share, quick share, you have Dex, which is that like, um, I mean, quick share is pretty self-explanatory, so that's why I didn't go into it, but but uh, you have, um, let's see here, you have Dex, you have, Dex is like that laptop thing. Um, sorry I keep shifting up the focus, guys. Um, bad habit. Uh, so you have that, you have smart view, you have nearby share. So actually do with nearby share, if you're wondering, like, if you want airdrop for Android, bro, like, look at this. So I set up nearby share on my computer with an app called, I don't even remember what it was called. It's called, uh, what is it called? It is actually should be up here, but yeah. So sorry, y'all. you can see right here. So right here you got It's called Neardrop, but if you want to do AirDrop on your Android phone, you absolutely can do that. And I'm going to show you how, um, like this. So yeah, you basically just on install it. You need to go to GitHub and you just click the first package that says whatever dot zip on your Mac. It's actually just going to show like immediately. But yeah, so you guys saw like the little menu. Just make sure that's like on um, and running, and then you can go to here. And you can go to, let's see here, device visibility. You can go to, um, let's see here, everyone, right? And then you can go to device visibility. Oh, same thing, yeah. So uh, I yeah, turn it on. And turn on my Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. It's just gonna do that. And then everyone again. And then we will go to this again, and then we gotta go one more time back into, this is just set up by the way guys, I'm setting it up on the phone, so that's why you have to do it like three times, but I'll right, we'll go, we'll go here. Okay, so I guess you gotta go to a photo, I'm gonna make sure I pull up a photo that's not like, I don't, I don't know, you never know, what, you never know what like random photos you have in there, so we're just gonna go ahead and like, find something that is not super absurd okay so and hopefully it doesn't show anything else but okay so we have this right um okay yeah we got that and then you can go to this right here so you can go to share and then you can do right here there is nearby share look at that bro right there look at that dude so sick like tom's macbook pro dude what the fuck? Yeah, boy. Okay, so sending image options accept. Yeah, so it says it's good, and then I believe it just drops it into your files real quickly. Let's see here. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to find it real quick. I don't know why this is taking so long because it should just be right there. Um, it's literally me just being lost, so I apologize. You might have to configure exactly where the files go in the settings. Um, but yeah, oh, actually, so there's a near drop folder and then you click images, I believe. And then I think, yeah. Is this the one? 
What the hell? <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard you like photo buff. So put, so I put photo buff in your photo buff so you can desterilize what you just, <laughs> dude, it's like exhibit. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Uh, maybe it's giving you like tips or something, but yeah. So basically it did send, oh, okay. So you just gotta look for it. Um, I, I did find it right here. So let's go send it over. Yeah, look, boom, look at that shit. Amazing. Yeah, dude, literally. Like, I'm not, not going to airdrop videos, so goodbye, iPhone 11. I'm going to give it to my, my homie, um, Lonnie, so we can play some games and shit. But yeah, here, I'm going to real quick get out that Photos app. But yeah, dude, literally nearby share. Um, it's called, uh, what is it again? Let's see here. You can go to, it's called Near Drop. So yeah, figure out how to do that. Just go to the GitHub link or whatever. Um, you literally just look up Nearby Drop. It should pop up. It's the first like file you see and it'll just literally download to an app, install it. And then it's gonna say like it's malware. It's not malware. I think it's literally just, that's something that Apple will do to get people to not install third party applications. And they do it and they won't admit they do it, but I know they do it. And so, yeah, that's that's that. So it's like not malware, I promise. So you're gonna go into security and privacy settings and you're gonna click enable or allow application. So yeah, just open it, allow it, and always have it running and so you can just quickly airdrop. So like, dude, problem freaking solved, bro. Like everyone's been complaining about Android not having like an ability to do like things in the ecosystem. And even just, you can install the Samsung like app and it's gonna show your messages and everything like that, which is really sweet. You can even actually go in and you can open up the, uh, I'll show you guys stuff in the phone. We'll get back to the phone, but I just wanted to kind of go over this real quick. Um, you can also go into your settings or your messages and it gives you an option where you can literally open it up in a link. So you can just have your browser for texting, not not like just specific RCS. Like it's gonna be just texting, like, like actual texting, which is really, really sweet. So yeah, let's get let's get right back into the phone video guys. But yeah, I just want to give you guys that information. As you guys see my sweet, basically bald head. Hell yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cut that shit uh, the other day. Nice. Uh, you like how the purple is lining up with that. It's pretty sweet. And it has that live wallpaper. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and do this real quickly. And we're going to go back to widgets. So yeah, that was uh, that's pretty cool what we just did. Um, we did that nearby share. And yeah, so like... Literally, the issue of airdrop is solved, and you have no idea. I am so fucking thrilled. Yeah, so WhatsApp, you have like that. It's just going to be like the messenger one. It's going to be like a messaging thing, but yeah, we can go back and do it real quick. So WhatsApp, like I said, you have that, and then you can go into YouTube. You can do search YouTube. It showed it up at the top. Like I said, there's going to be ones that populate that it thinks you use, and I think it's going off of your you like your usage too. So with you app, which with uh. You having that smart app thing that shows the apps that are most used, it's gonna also change it in your um, like your widgets settings. So they're gonna populate at the top, right? And so you got YouTube Music and it's gonna show, that's cool. Whoa, what the heck? Turntable, is it gonna show everything as a vinyl? Quick access, your most recently played track. That is, that's pretty sick. I like, I like how that looks. You've now playing and then you have a recently played four by two widget. So let's see, let's see Turntable, bro. Um, what do I have on here? Oh, played NF. Uh, I'm not copywriting, bro. Fuck that. No copyright. Come on. <laughs> I'm not playing that. But you guys get the idea. It's going to play some music. Tired of getting copyright, dude. Um, if they copyright that image, I don't know what to do. I, it's pretty helpless. Um, but yeah, regardless, you got that going. So I'm going to go ahead and actually real quick, go back to these widgets uh, real quick. Yeah, so real quick, Bluetooth, all that. Like, right, we got link to Windows. Um, so yeah, like that has like the, this is for like the thing I was talking about with it linking to that um, Samsung app that you can install on Windows. There's screen recorder, uh, there's Dex, right? That computer thing is Smart View. Uh, Smart View is, I believe that thing with like all the apps. Smart View, phone, other device, select device. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. So the Smart View is pretty much like gonna pick up all Samsung devices or devices in general, allow you, allow you pretty much to do screen mirroring um, or it's gonna like allow you to actually share specific content um, but yeah, so we got that. We're gonna go back to this. Um, we're gonna go to uh, Eye Comfort Shields. So this is gonna pretty much turn it so that the blue light goes away, and it's supposed to help a little bit. Um, but honestly, screens. If you're feeling anxious, screens are like a really actually a big cause. No matter what you're doing, the actual displays cause anxiety. Um, I don't know. Like I mean, I don't think this information gets passed around a long time ago. But like there used to be a saying that watching too much TV makes you dumb, and it's it does kill your brain cells. You aren't getting. I mean, like. 
obviously they're growing and being like you know killed every second but and i don't know if that's just an old wives tale but or like an old wise tale or whatever but i mean it it could be true man you know what i mean and like that's what that screen time which is pretty important you know what i mean seeing what you're doing and kind of getting screen time off you really you know it's boring but it's really good for your eyes and really good for your mental health so really you really want to take breaks like that's something i want to emphasize like don't spend all day on your phone i clearly spend all day on my phone and that's a habit i'm trying to break um and obviously my career which is this youtube channel uh we are at 669 subscribers so definitely not a million or anything like that but we are slowly chugging along and i appreciate you guys if you want to subscribe and support my career of reviewing tech um i would really appreciate it uh that'd be awesome but i'm yeah I'm, I'm going hard on this channel bro i'm gonna keep uploading and uploading and uploading until i reach the million subscriber point i believe in myself bro that's what it takes it might be a long shot but i'm going for it bro. i'm going for a million plus um, but yeah, dude, we're going to get there eventually. I know it. And if you guys want to be part of my <laughs> journey, is so cringy, but a, a part of just like the, like, I guess just like the process of me, just, just, just trust the process, dude. <laughs> Stuttered during that too. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, if you guys want to be a part of just me doing this, like, and just kind of being along for the ride, seeing me, if you guys appreciate, like, if you guys like seeing me progress and things like that and seeing like my videos, be sure to subscribe because that'll and turn on that notification bell and leave a comment and like um, because that is going to essentially. Um, oh my goodness, I'm already at an hour. That is wild, dude. That is so crazy. Hour 4K footage, man. That's pretty wild. Yeah, but we are we're chugging along, man. This is going to be an awesome review for you guys. Um, I might have to go in and actually edit. Whoa, I'm turning that brightness down, dude. Um, I did. Yeah, let's. So wow, we are going. Uh, we're going strong, guys. Let's go back here. Um, actually, yo, know, I literally didn't do this with the hardware yet. Duh. Okay, so yeah, you have this kind of flat sort of top. I don't know the millimeters on it, but it does look pretty thin, and it's about as thin as any other phone I've used on top. Um, on the sides, you have the kind of curved display. Uh, really quickly. Let's see. Oh, whoops. Yes, yeah, so you have the curved off edge display. You have the, what do you want to call it? Um, yeah, yeah, it pretty much is flat, but it, it's really not as bad as it was. Uh, people were kind of like upset about the curve. It's not bad. It was way stronger. And I remember when they did the first, like the S5 Edge or something. It was like the first kind of curved display. But this, this is very minimal. This is like, it's literally just like that. You know what I mean? It's very, very unnoticeable. It's very flat. Uh, comparatively to my other phone, it's a completely flat screen. It's barely, it's barely different, which is really, really nice. Um, if I'm being honest, it's, re it's really great. Um, but yeah, so we will go ahead and get back into this. But yeah, uh, actually, so sorry, guys. I want to finish this thing. Uh, forgive the ADD. I do do things sporadically, and I apologize. Not too organized, but I do like to do things just like this, like to kind of show... I mean, I just want it to be like an authentic experience. You know what I mean? I want you guys to just kind of be like, oh, okay, so if who's reviewing this phone? Like, I want it to be obvious that I'm re I'm reviewing it. And how do I do that? I just kind of do my own do my own thing. You know what I mean? Make my own content, have, show my personality on it. Try not to be like anything I don't want to be. You know what I'm saying like, so I don't I don't try to make these things too flashy. I've been switching around the thumbnails because I've noticed like, I like I want more clicks on my videos. Like, obviously the goal is more views because more views, more subscribers, more subscribers, more likes, more comments better algorithm site pretty much and then i can grow from there so that's go cool. but yeah so anyway aside from that you got the s pen we're gonna go over that a little bit you got the speaker grill you have the antenna bands you have the microphones and the USB C port and then you have the sim eject tool uh, i talked about this in the unboxing but do not make this mistake um i know actually the way this is built according to jerry rig everything this guy's really awesome he went into this phone he said that like samsung made it so you aren't going to mess up your microphone if you stick your thing in because it's not actually going to be like directly there so even if you stick like a sim tool in it's not going to mess up the actual microphone which is nice but yeah make sure to do this one like this one on here like and if there is no phone is a phone you have it doesn't have that just be very careful of damaging your microphone because it's really going to affect things sometimes people literally will damage their phones and think the phone sucks without even realizing the fact that they damaged it because they stuck um they they literally excuse me, they just like, they stuck like a SIM tool in their microphone without realizing it. 
Um, and that's something just to be wary of if you're not using a Samsung phone. But also just don't do it because I don't know if everything is like that and I don't want to be liable for you messing up your phone. Just be careful. That's basically the idea. So you have your volume rocker. It does feel very solid. Like it's very solid, you know, um, uh, it's like they, I like how they polish the aluminum so it looks like reflective. It feels nice, dude. It feels really, really nice. It's got a nice premium weight to it. Um, and yeah, you have your volume rocker, which is like a nice metal button. It's not plastic. Like I've noticed like years ago or like some, some companies cut it short in terms of expenses by putting plastic on the side that looks like it's metal. They don't skimp you with that, which is really nice. You know, you got the other, the metal home button. You can reassign these actually. So you can actually set like, this is like, for instance, in your camera, you can set this as, um, what do you want to call it? You can set this as like a shutter button or like a, um, and that's, that's pretty cool. You can, you can have this too, but you can also set uh, one of those is set as a shutter button. You can pretty much control like what these devices do, like, or like long press or whatever. Like you have like full control over these hardware buttons, which is really, really nice. And I think that's just something that's like great about Android is like being able to customize the hardware buttons and not being stuck to certain things. Um, and like, like I said, um, I don't think Android's primary focus is customization. I think it's productivity. And I think that's just the difference. It's, it's like the old saying, bro, Android's for nerds and iOS is for fucking chats. You know what I mean? It's not the old saying, but that feels like how it is. No, I mean, obviously, you're, not everybody's a fucking chat. You get the idea. Not everyone's a nerd who uses Android. I personally am a nerd, so I fit the stereotype, and I can be giga chad too, so not really too thick for that, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love that meme, by the way. I think that shit's so funny. Uh, but yeah, regardless, yeah, so like as, as you guys can see, it's like here's my finger to the side. Like I'm like a 5'11 dude. Like my hands are decent sized. You know what I'm saying? Like, comparative to the phone, it is bigger? Nah, nah, not even I wish. <laughs> Dude. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so you got the cameras on the back. I know there's a, there are default zooms. You can actually control, like, whatever zoom kind of type you want. But there are also just, like, default zooms. So that's just something to keep in mind. So you got that. You have the, the camera button. Uh, or camera button, what am I talking about? So yeah, you have, uh, so the default zoom settings are, it's, it's, 0.6 it's 1 it's 10 and 100 and so i do have if you guys look at my most recent posts uh, it's under community i don't know if it shows community if you guys are just shows posts it shows some kind of tab where you guys can see my actual post i did post the zooms of me taking a picture of a tree actually i shared one of the green photos like green tree photos that i took the other day right here so um if you guys do see that um like if you saw that when i just showed the example right here uh that was one of the photos of one of the zoom settings. You, you have full control over the zoom. When we get to the camera app, we're gonna go ahead and, and kind of go in more depth with that. Um, but yeah, so you have a, I know the wide angle is 200. I think one is 12 and one is 20. I don't honestly know. All I know is there's that 200 megapixel one that everyone keeps talking about. But if you guys want to look up these specific uh, specifications, there are, there's information everywhere, guys. Like just look up Galaxy S23 Ultra camera specifications. Uh, the camera's nice, bro. I've had a great exp experience now with AirDrop, bro. Sold. You know what I mean? Or nearby drop or near drop. Dude, with Android Chair, bro, straight up sold. I'm so hyped. But yeah, so you have these. Uh, I think one of these is, I don't know if it's a camera. I think it's a sensor. They're just sensors in like a little camera thing. So it looks nice. But yeah, you got the wide angle. You have the up, the macro lens and the normal lens. So you have all three. Um, I do like this sort of shine on the sides. I think it like looks really good. I think Apple does it like this too. But I, and that's probably why they're like, oh, I, Samsung copied Apple for taking an idea that's good. Just like, weirdly enough, Apple added widgets 10 years later. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Just, bro, I love talking shit. I'm sorry. Um, at least about phones. I think it's really fun. My buddy Jason and I, uh, or Jadson, with the ADD, I don't even know if he has it. We just put that years ago. Um, but yeah, regardless, we used to sit, like, I'm talking like 10 years ago, maybe. 11 years now, we used to just straight up sit outside his house and debate like what phones were better. And I was always Android and he was always iOS and he had his reasoning for it that was not as solid as mine, dude. I was obviously better. Nah, I'm playing. Obviously, like Jason is somebody who's smart that follows iOS. So not it's like not the case that everyone, not everyone's an idiot that chooses an iPhone. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? There are people that just choose it because everyone chose it, but not everyone's doing that. A lot of people do prefer iPhones. And I genuinely... Obviously, yeah, I obviously prefer Android. I think that it's uh, just a much better option. There's way more going for it and way more things to do, especially with the Samsung phone, bro. Like this makes me just want to use this because I'm not always playing games. And so 
because of the Red Magic 8 Pro being awesome, it doesn't also have like all these features. Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, dude, I've been talking about just a few things and I ramble, but dude, I'm already at an hour and 19 minutes of just continuous like footage. This thing has 512 gigs. And if I somehow just like take up the entire hard drive with this 4K footage, <laughs> oh my God, okay. Yeah, anyway, so we're gonna go into, yeah, you guys gotta look at the hardware, you know, volume marker power, uh, there's a microphone on top, there's, you know, the, the antenna bands. Uh, so for 5G to work, certain metals will not allow it to pass. That's why they have this little cutout here. So don't put your hand over this. Um, I don't know if it's the case, but I think it, I think it also just helps like the signal pass through. But yeah, so obviously just try not to put your hand there. If this is for something else, let me know, but that's what I at least think it's about. Yeah, you have the antennas. Uh, I do like how it looks like the old iPhone, um, like back in the day. Do you guys remember that antenna gate thing? It's the gate thing is so stupid, but like saying that like water gate, you know what I mean? It makes it sound super intense. Basically you just put your hand over a, like everyone like was all about iPhones, but you never had this problem with Android. You'd put your hand over certain bands and like the signal would just completely drop. You don't have to deal with that anymore. But dude, the signal would go away. Like you would lose your service. Like, I mean, it, it's crazy. They fixed it in the uh, 4S and I believe the the 5, or I don't remember exactly which one they fixed it on, but one of them had that issue of the antenna thing, which was interesting and kind of funny. But yeah, regardless, uh, yeah, that's the hardware. Like, you know, the cameras, you got the ports, you got it all, man. You know what I mean? I picked, this looks like the, this is the pink color, man. Um, show this in my unboxing but i want to show you just how this pink looks compared to something like a rose gold iphone so this is a, another pink phone your boy I, honestly i like pink phones man but yeah so obviously it's like more subtle you can see a little better here but it's way more so it's a way more subtle pink it does look a little bit more pink in person but it's very subtle it's called you know i think it's called um lavender but it's more it's more like lilac to be honest but i think lavender sounds better to be honest like <laughs> lilac <laughs> like i don't know but yeah, I, I saw this man and I was hesitant because I was like, man, I can get a pink phone. I'm gonna get, <laughs> come on, bro. But like, I'm tired of green phones and I don't want to like a dark black phone. Like I, I just had a black phone, you know what I'm saying? Like I just had like a, I, I don't want a green phone. I don't want, like, you know what I mean? I like, like the cream looked okay, but I had that with the Pixel 6 Pro. I've never had like a, a really like super kind of flat pink phone. And I think this one really stands out, man. I think it looks really, really great. And I think Samsung did a good job with this colorway. I think it's awesome. I really wish that I um, wasn't playing, uh, going through T-Mobile. I could have done this, but I'm not trying to drop like a ton of money up front. I'd rather do, I like payment plans to be honest with, with tech like this, because if you don't use it, you can just turn it back in for the remaining cost of whatever. So when I get bored of a phone, if I haven't paid it off yet, essentially what I can do is I can just turn it in and then the rest of the phone's paid off. Like that's the nice part. So you can pretty much pay for what you use, which is nice instead of having to pay a huge chunk up front and then dealing with consequences later like you used to. But yeah, so that's unfortunately what I, uh, you can do payment plans online, but um, I just uh, wasn't able to do that, unfortunately. So um, just with budgeting and all that, don't wanna get too detailed in the finances, but you guys get the point. I did like the colors online though. I like that that like red looks sweet. It's like reddish that pops out of you, the lime green. Um, I think that there's, I don't know the other two colors, but there are some really, really sick colors if you guys want to check those out online. Because, like, the online exclusive colors, bro, I really wish they dropped those in stores because those are fresh, bro. If I already really get one of those, I'd probably pick up the lime one. But, yeah, on, out of the four that are available in stores um, with carriers, I thought the pink looked the best. Everyone has their own opinion. But, yeah, so that that is that. So, yeah, we have um, like this. So, yeah, we went over the notification toggles, but what else can you do, right? So, you got the power. You got search. You have settings. Um, so let's go to search. What is search gonna do? It's gonna pull this up. That's awesome. You got that. Um, it shows all the apps and everything in that search thing like I, like I just showed you. So you got that, you got the power button. What's the power gonna do? Uh, so power off, uh, restart, and emergency call. So that's, that's pretty sweet. You can just kind of access that. And then side key settings. So you got, uh, yeah, so you can go and you can change, like this is what I'm saying. So double press. We'll do quick launch camera or open a specific app. You can press and hold it. It's gonna do power off menus. Wake Bigs before, but I switched to power off because I'm just used to holding it and it's shutting off. But you can also, if you don't do that, you can just slide, you know, slide down and you can go ahead and you can do that. You got um, like, uh, sorry, media output. What was this again? Um, YouTube music, this phone. I guess it shows like 
the volume for specific things or like where you're sharing. So I think when you share it to a device, you can click this media output and it'll actually pull up like a little, this little remote thing. You can control it pretty much uh, on any device. So that's, that's pretty sweet. So yeah, you got the device control and the media output. I don't know if the device control does that too, but that's, that's my speculation. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go turn on do not disturb because I'm getting tired of these notifications uh, right here. So we got the modes, blah, 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 okay, right here. Uh, I'm actually gonna show you real quick, you can add more. So you got camera access, microphone access, you got sync. So if you wanna turn off like the app sync, so it's when an app like is gonna go and check for if there's new data, you can turn that on or off. Um, I personally like it off because it saves battery and I only really need information from like texts or maybe emails, that's about it. You know what I'm saying? I don't really need all these notifications. Like I've, it's already getting kind of annoyed with that. Um, but yeah, so you get that, you got NFC, music share, live caption. Um, live caption is pretty sweet. Pretty, pretty sweet. Uh, you got the freaking sound notifications. You have live transcribe. Um, this is pretty sweet. So it's going to basically, uh, you're gonna, it's gonna hear like what's going on. And I think it translates, um, I think. Extra dim for the screen, save the battery probably. Probably looks pretty sweet with that black phone too. Uh, high contrast focus, probably pops the colors. Color inversion. Um, so it's gonna flip the colors. Um, it's gonna make everything kind of weird. You got color filter. You have the color correction, um, especially if you're, I think if you're colorblind, I think that's what it does. Always on display, you can turn it on or off. You got secure Wi-Fi. So if you wanna add them, you just take it, hold it and drag it. I'm not gonna do that because I like what's in there. But yeah, you can do that secure Wi-Fi, the VPN blocking with T-Mobile, if you have a T-Mobile one. There's also, I'm sure there's apps or actually a native. Is the secure blocking thing through T-Mobile? It probably isn't, it might just be through Samsung, but I still think that's a really cool thing that they have. Um, so yeah, you have kids mode, so it'll just play games and you, they can't really mess with your stuff, that's pretty sweet. So you have protect battery, you have performance profiles, so it's gonna be like if you wanna change like the specs and all that, I don't know, you're just like, I think it's just if you wanna play games, um, yeah. And like you can turn on certain things. Um, let's see here. So wireless power sharing. Uh, so you can charge other devices by sticking it on because it has like the MagSafe thing, I think on the back. I don't really know. Um, I think so. So call and text on other devices. So that's gonna be like your computer thing like it was showing. S Pen Air action so you can toggle it on or off. You can go in, or you can go in and just set up the individual actions or view them. Uh, you can do secure folders. So you can lock up a folder if you don't want people seeing certain information without a password. You got Dolby Atmos which is that sound enhancer. Um, and then you can go to create a note. So that's pretty sweet, but um, yeah, let's get, so yeah, you can add notifications, um, but let's let's do this thing that everyone really wants the phone for, maybe, I don't really know. Somebody said they don't use it 99% of the time, um, but yeah, let's take out this pen, bro. So it click, it's like very clicky, like, see, boom. And then you pull it out and it does like a little vibration, right? And so you got all these menus that pop up. First, it shows the battery. And as you bring your device closer, you get a little hover thing. Everyone comments, like, every like I don't like it when people think Apple originated everything because I've had an S Pen since my Galaxy Note 2, or even the first one I'm pretty sure had it. I don't know if it had it built in. It might have actually, yeah, that was the whole thing. The Galaxy Note, bro, that's had it since the dawn of time. And I think the Apple Pencil is very much copying, but people are unaware. People are very unaware of what Android is because they only really pay attention to Apple. but. Anyway, I just don't want to see people saying, well, uh, Apple had that first. Well, I don't think it did, to be honest, because I don't remember a stylus being around when the Galaxy Note came out. So yeah, you got create note, you have view all notes, you have coloring, you have the smart select, which is pretty much you can take something in a photo and you can draw around it and it's going to pretty much crop it out. Like it's like, it's like if you were using Photoshop on the computer and you like kind of go around something and you can block out the background, um, you can do that. So you can do screen write, you can go into live messages, AR doodle, translate, pen up. Uh, so yeah, so the pen up is a coloring one. You got create notes. So if I want to go in and create a note, I can just do this. So smart suggestion actually use data, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, clip web pages into notes, browsing and Samsung internet. Whoa. Okay. That's kind of cool. So when I, when I push on it, like here, let me just focus this a little bit. Let me do this for you. <laughs> so awesome. There we go. So bring this in and you tap, it feels. So yeah, I think this is like a note you can draw. So let's say this, like go get milk, <laughs> get hick, <laughs> mick, 
M. Come on, bro. This is in first grade. <laughs> there we go. A little bit, little bit more. <laughs> it still looks like a C, bro. Come on. There we go. Uh, the military also teaches you to write in all caps. That's why I'm doing that. But clearly, I had to justify myself. But yeah, so you can, you can, you know, you, you can write notes and stuff, and you can do um, a book. I think it, what it does is it. Oh, it's for pages? Oh, interesting. It allows you split app thing. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Or was that swipe gesture just there in general? I don't really know. Um, let me just. Here, let me, I don't know how to make it full screen. Uh, there's a way to do it, but. Yeah, I'm just going to go back to this. So if you want to get back to your S Pen settings, you can go to uh, create note. But yeah, basically the note thing is pretty simple. It's just allowing you to write down some information. You can view all your notes. So let's say I go view all my notes. It's going to be, you're going to need to sync it with your account if you want your old stuff, but the handwritten one pops up and then you can go in here. Like, let's say you go to settings. So you got all notes, shared notes. You can share with people. It's beta version, but essentially you're going to be able to like invite people in your contacts. I also have a Galaxy Note. You can, you can just can make like notes together. It's like group projects could work really well with something like this, which is pretty sweet. So you have folders, so you can make a folder, you manage your folders. Um, you can do the, let's see here, what's that? PNG, what does I say? Sorry, let me just, a PDF. So you can add PDFs to this, um, which is pretty sweet. Or you can scan a PDF, can you scan a PDF? I don't know what's, saying the middle of the phone video on this device. Okay, so it's gonna pull it from Google Drive. And then if you want it, like, cause if you want to like write on a PDF, uh, you can do that, that's pretty sick. So yeah, if you want to pull out a PDF, if you want to start a new one, you can go like this page style. If you want individual pages or infinite scrolling page, I personally would do infinite scrolling page. Uh, you got normally you have long and you have the scroll direction vertical or horizontal. That's cool. So you can do it like a book horizontal, but yeah, I'm not going to do that. Like actually, let's go into these settings a little bit more. So hit this. You got the book. You have the attached. So I can attach different files. I'm going to do images. Can't, oh, this is cool. You got image, camera, scan, PDF, voice recording, audio file, drawing, text box. So you can add a bunch of cool stuff. Also right here, you have you know the check mark. I don't know what this is, what's this? Oh, for like a list thing, okay. What's this? It's gonna be like, oh, okay, so it's text options. Like, you know, you have like your basic, remember, you guys remember using Microsoft Word? I mean, obviously I'm sure you guys probably still use it. It's Google Drive, but um, obviously Android Fanboy, so I have to use that. Not just playing, but yeah, so you got like the, you can do like, you know, bullet facts. You can do like the left, right. You can do the bold italics underline. Uh, you can one line your text if you mess something up. Um, like you highlight it and one line it. Um, it's like the professional way to do it, I guess. Um, uh, especially with that writing, very professional. You can change the font size. You can go back and forth based on your changes. You can go like here, you can pull emojis. You got clipboard. So it's going to be anything copied. Um, somebody said you can actually view them on different devices. Somebody saying uh, iPhones can only do that or somebody made it look like that. I, uh, Samsung phones can do that as well. So you can pretty much do that. Um, and that's that's pretty cool. It's like, I like when they have shared features so I can just go, if I want to use like, like the only thing that's holding me back or not holding me back, but I'm, I word that one wrong completely. The only thing that is the draw to the iPhone right now is I really like that warp kart racing game. I think it's so dope, dude. Like it's just the dopest game. Let's be honest here, guys. Like, it's kick-ass. Um, but, yeah. So, you got the classic uh, notepad. Or, not notepad. What am I talking about? Well, yeah, we are a notepad. Sick. Um, so, yeah, we got this going. We have the voice commands. You have settings. So you can actually change, like, certain things in here. So, settings with keyboard. You got predictive text. Suggested emojis. Suggested stickers while typing. Uh, emojis preloaded. Nah, I don't like that. Um, auto replace. You got U.S. Okay, so it's gonna auto replace text. That's kind of cool based on like your language. Uh, suggest text corrections. Um, okay, so it's gonna, man, I hate this. I don't like this. So like the problem with that is it will underline something completely. And then if you wanna just go in and backspace simply, if you go under it or around it, it's still going to select the whole text and it just doesn't look good and it doesn't function well for me. So I don't like that. So I'm glad I turned that off. But if personal preference, if you guys can find a way to really like it and get it working really well, like uh, get on you, like honestly. But yeah, so you got the classic setup, you know, more things. You got text short ups, you got more typing options. What are the more typing options? Auto capitalize, auto spacing, double tab, multi language text prediction. Cool. I'll turn that on, sure. Um, so like there's an option for labs and that's essentially like 
probably where the hub is of like beta features. Um, but you guys, you guys saw that. Um, yeah. So actually, what was this again? Uh, enhanced accuracy. Okay. I'm sure it just is to like help predict your text even more or like at least better than maybe by the default. Like it's probably like an extra Samsung, like added on layer, uh, versus just like the default Google one that plays. So yeah, or not plays, but you get what I'm saying. Like that's like populated when you're typing. So you have high contrast keyboard. You see, you can basically make the, the keyboard kind of pop out almost like color wise. So if you have a hard time seeing the keys, you do that. So you can change the theme in here and go, oh yeah, yeah. So theme, light, dark, solid, dark. Okay, light, solid, light, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you got size and transparency. So, oh, cool, man. Okay, yeah, you can just adjust it. So this is like, you can obviously go and actually move the keyboard around and things like that, but this is for Cause that's the thing on all Android phones. If you hit, uh, there's a certain button that you hit and it'll allow you to drag it around. Um, but yeah, this is if you want like a default size that isn't just the default one. Um, but yeah, so font size, custom symbols. What are the custom symbols? Nice. Okay, so you can add, tap the symbol you want to change, then replace it. Whoa, okay. Dude, that's sick. You can, so you can actually, whoa, this is sick, man. So you can actually go and you can change the locations of the symbols you want on the keyboard. That I've never seen that ever. That is really cool. Yeah, so that if you don't want like a certain thing, you can move it around or you can like have the ones you use the most very conveniently located. That is really, really sweet. You got voice input. Obviously, you know, voice is just gonna basically like take your voice and um, it's gonna like record it and then type it. So swipe and touch feedback. So it's gonna be like swipe to type. You got the touch and hold delay. So if you hold it to move it, you can pretty much just choose the amount of time it takes the backspace speed. So if it's like how fast things are gonna backspace, you can ch change the speed of that, that's pretty sweet. So you got touch and hold space bar, um, cursor control. Oh, okay, so you can adjust like, whoa, voice input. Okay, that's cool. Uh, it does have a little voice toggle though, but if you change that and you wanna still have that and wanna make it easier on yourself, uh, the space bar is very conveniently placed, um, especially if you need to type, like, especially if you're not the best at typing or you're not very good at writing, you have something like dyslexia, or not dyslexia, I think it's dysgraphia where it's like the, the difficulty with like writing and shapes of words and stuff. I think the voice to text thing comes in clutch for you. And a fast access, instead of just hitting that button, like, and it, you're always hitting the, the space bar, right? So all you gotta do is hold it a little longer and it'll pop up and it's freaking awesome, man. So uh, ski, speed keyboard input allowed. Okay, that's cool. It's good for people who are uh, maybe like, you know, visually impaired. So yeah, it's great. Keep symbol panel open. Okay, sweet. You got that. You got some more features there. Uh, what do we, man, we're almost, uh, voice input, swipe touch, feedback, uh, handwriting. Um, so you got the candidate type, recognition candi candidates. What is this? Prediction candidates. Um, so yeah, okay, recognition time, how fast it's gonna recognize it, and pen detection. Okay, that's cool. Um, Save screen, screenshots to a clipboard. So if you want to copy paste, especially if you're in that notes app where, where I showed like with the first option and just to remind you of where it is, it's like right here. Uh, man, I need to plug in this phone real quick guys here. Um, not this one, but uh, my phone, the dude, this is draining a 6,000 milliamp hour battery, bro. That's crazy. I'm gonna make sure I don't tap any buttons. Cause if I do, I would hate to have to stitch a video together. Oh my God, okay, it's still going. <laughs> dude, I, man, I do not like, okay, so, dude, I don't know if you guys, if you guys don't edit videos, like, you still have to render the video when you're done, and that basically just is just like another, it feels like another upload. Like, it feels like I have to upload it, I have to like 